Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this Exhibition Match cast set I'm going to be doing. Let's start off today with a short match on Hills. Be... Sec. Be between Nail and Chitin. So I attempted to cast this the other day, and it looked like there were some issues. However, it was merely that I was casting with the wrong version of the game. It accidentally was using the incorrect version. So this is the correct version of the game that was played with, thus will work, should work fine. Tested it earlier today a bit and it worked okay, so I expect this will be perfectly fine as replay. But now to the game. Nail starting out as CISO and Chitin is also going CISO. So CISO mirror and both players going very quickly for three RPs. So neither player it looks like they're planning on going for an infantry rush strategy right out of the gate, or if they are, they aren't doing it that immediately. Though I don't see any importers, so I'm assuming that Nail is going to be going for a 4th RP, and Chitin will probably also go for 4th RP. Both players could afford importers that they wanted to right away, and neither of them are purchasing some. So, only conclusion I can come to is that they are planning on going for a later economic, or at least a mid-game economic strategy, which on a map like Hills is not the best idea. The next version of the game, due to some pathfinding improvements, this ramp here and this ramp here will be removed. Also, the name of the map is going to be changed to Cataclysm Ridge, just as a warning. I'll go over it in the patch overview video when the next version comes out, but just a small warning or preview, or I guess preview is a better way of putting it. This map is going to be changed somewhat. Considerably in the middle, the rush timing will be a fair bit longer, but it's in its current state, in this particular state, the release version, rush strategies are very powerful, so having a mid-game economic plan, and yes, Nail, there's a 4th RP, and there's the importer for Chitin, so Chitin is going for a bit more of a faster strategy. Both players will be, at the 2-minute mark, hitting their opponent's armories and dealing a lot of damage. So both players are pretty much even right now. Nail destroying Chitin's armory and Chitin about to destroy Nail's, but of course, this is far in the future, so really a lot could change right now. And Nail is probably going to be changing that RP in, into an importer, just because he sees the rush coming. Like I said, rush strategies are very powerful in this map, so going for mid-game economic focus without having at least an early importer or something for a protection, some some way of getting units out, especially for CISO. For Vecchio and Grekum, it's a bit different since they don't need reserves, but for CISO, having an early importer is pretty much necessary on a map like Hills. And it looks like Nail's going for a proxy as well. He appears to be going for a proxy armory, judging by the size of the building footprint. And, no, oh, and of course he has to jump away. But that appeared to be a proxy armory, which means he is going to be going for a very, very aggressive infantry strategy. Which, a bit of a change of plans given his fourth RP there that he had. And Chitin going for an early factory, which is a, quite a bit more normal. Four RPs as well, so definitely going for more of an ATHC heavy strategy. Like three on our LC, one on QP, and an importer. This is perfect for ATHCs. However, the question is whether or not this factory will be able to get up before that comes up, and it looks like it should be able to, but he's still taking a fair amount of damage to the main base. He's doing quite a bit to Nail as well, but Nail is not focused at this point in time. Nail is a minute down from here, building an importer with a proxy armory. Yes, that is what it is. And he is going to be quite threatening, seeing as he has armory right next to Chitin's base, and Chitin doesn't seem to be aware of this at all. So Chitin is going to want to deal with this, want to find it first, and then deal with it. While Nail, he is still dealing a lot more, well, he's actually not dealing that much damage to Chitin. Chitin getting an ATC up and managing to get rid of Nail's infantry, and also getting rid of Nail's importer, well, at least aware of the importer, so we'll see if he changes his plans about what to hit first, because the armory is really not a high priority target compared to an importer. Losing the importer means no units can be built at all. Although, if Nail is smart, he will be putting a proxy importer with this armory, or proxy importer in the back around here, or... Well, at any rate, a second importer would still be a good idea for him. So, Chitin has his ATC out at the three minute mark, Nail's about a minute down from here, and it looks like he's just about to find that armory. Second ATC is built up as well, not sure why Chitin has decided to go into slow-mo. He doesn't seem to have anything to micro too, too intensely, but he does find the armory, so he is now aware of Nail's strategy. Nail is two minutes down from there, where the armory is just finished building, and Chitin, his attack is just about to hit. Nail's attack is well also about to hit. Not sure... Oh, Nail's marine would have, of course, gone back here to keep building up. 
and building up Special Op and Marine from the Proxy Armory. So Kitan well aware of it, but Kitan has not jumped back to deal with it. So once the next time wave comes along, once this green time wave comes along, then another set of infantry will be up here to help deal with these ATHCs. However, ATHCs are still pretty strong against infantry, and here's a Macrofab as well. So Kitan definitely trying to tech up quickly while Nail is going for more of a rush strategy. Though Nail, really, it's a matter of whether or not that he pulls this off. And here is an, an un, second armory and another importer. So he does decide to build an importer here, keeping this one small base while getting more and more infantry. The factory isn't even done yet, and the special ops has been moved back so it doesn't get killed just on its own. Which is right here. So these ATCs are going to have quite a harder time on this time wave. And like I said, that's the screen time wave along here. That's when we see whether or not the ATCs will actually do their job properly. However, judging by the propagation, it looks like they will. So let's see what happens when it gets down to that. Now, kind of on the other hand, dealing a lot of damage to that importer. Still not going around to damage it, though. Just attacking the armory first, pushing through that. At the three-minute mark now, Kaiden has his ATFCs building up. He's... I'm not sure if he's aware of how much this has developed, but his ATFCs are still dealing a fair amount of damage at the five-minute mark after the green time of propagation, so... The infantry that are placed here are still not quite enough to deal with the ATCs that Kitan has sent, while Kitan dealing a lot of damage to Nail's main base. However, once again, the red time of Nail having that extra armory might help. He has well, a couple more infantry than he did last time. Against the ATCs, this might work, and let's see. One ATC coming in, and this is the unplayable past edge, pretty much, so this is going to be very close to the definite events. And the second ATC is almost done. Now it's out. So Kitan's ATCs are getting heavily damaged by the infantry, and they are going to be killed. The special loves healing up the Marines while the Marines take care of the ATC. So Kitan will have a much harder time dealing with this now. It looks like on this time wave, Kitan will not be able to finish off the infantry with the ATCs. He'll have to, well, either get the Mar tanks to look like he was going for with the mech. Though even that will be quite a bit risky, because trying to get the money for that, trying to get that in time before these infantry just march into Kitan's base and tear it to shreds. It's going to be very tricky. However, Nail, his RPs are moving out of position, but that doesn't really matter. His main resource right now is reserves, and he has... Well, he has his importer. Probably could use two importers, but even then, the one importer is still going to be quite a lot. And here it is, moving into the base. The ATC still fighting against that base, the proxy that Nail is at, but Nail coming in here, tearing apart Kitan's base. Factory is going to be going down very shortly, and Kitan, that ATC is almost done too, but no, that will not be coming out in time. Or just barely. Actually, yes, the progress bar going just fast enough that Kitan will be able to get an ATC up to help deal with this, but it won't be enough. The one ATC on its own against everything that Nail has thus far. Not enough, and it looks like Nail actually will manage to get through that before the ATC comes out. And Kitan has pretty much lost his entire base. Is ATC doing what it can, getting rid of the importer, or trying to, but not enough. Nail really has all he needs to win. So Kitan surrenders. Very quick game. And very glad that actually worked, so yes. If you're watching, last time I casted, this is what should have happened in the last game that I cast. And a good way to start off this cast session. So once Kitan actually yeah, surrendered, there we go. So Kitan has surrendered, and we're moving on from here to another game, so stay tuned. We'll be back in just a minute.